I'm here at the Manthorpe Racing Circuit in Chile, Sweden, where I've been invited along for a sneak preview of the new EA game, Need for Speed Shift. Now, it's not out until September, but it's supposed to be the most realistic racing game ever. And there's only one way to find out, and that's to get behind a joystick and try it. Well, I'm a bit rubbish at this, so I'm going to go and have a word with the man that developed the game. Being a race car driver myself, and also an avid gamer, I sat down and said, you know, I haven't seen anything like this, or that can portray what we're after with Need for Speed Shift, which is the feeling of being in a car, going really fast on a racetrack. I started racing cars about six years ago. Um, after finishing my volleyball career, I was a professional volleyball player, played for the Swedish national team. Uh, I just missed, missed the action and, and missed the, the team sport. So my wife gave me a uh, license to, to be in a car. Uh, on my way from the track, I bought a race car. That was how, how enthusiastic I became about it. Three weeks later, I, I entered my first race. I got in, interested in the long distance racing which has multiple drivers and a big team to keep track of the car, like the 24-hour races, the 12-hour races around the world. And as I became better, so did my, my stable and my cars, and, and today I, I race internationally with, uh, with a Porsche in uh, 24-hour races around the world. We took the, the developer team to this particular racetrack, and we put them in, in a bunch of race cars, and to, re to make them understand what it felt like being in a race car. Apart from the actual true driver experience, as we call it, being inside the car, feeling the G-forces. When you brake, the guy's head tilts forward. The UI also come closer to you. During turns, you'll, the head will tilt a little bit like that. If you crash, you'll get completely blurred and disoriented. At high speed, you'll see that the, the cockpit starts to get blurred out because you want the driver to be focused on the actual load. Uh, apart from that, which is all a part of the true driver experience, we also worked hard on the AI. So we wanted the, the computer-generated um, cars to feel much more real and challenging. So what you normally get from a racing game is that all, all, uh, all AI cars stay on a spline and they just go like this. It looks pretty pre-calculated, to be honest. In this game, it's different. You'll see the, the cars lock up brakes, you'll see them hit each other, you'll see them spin off the track, and depending on how you drive, they will adapt to that. So if you're aggressive, they're gonna be aggressive back against you. If you're careful and stay at where you are, and, overtake them nicely, they'll be nicer to you. So, and certain drivers amongst the AI will have certain uh, abilities, such as an aggressive driver, a more precision-based driver, and, and a more defensive driver, depending on where in the pack you are. So, that's also a big difference to Need for Speed Shift compared to anything out there, uh, which I think people will enjoy when they play it. Well, that's it from a very cold Sweden. I'm off to have another go at the game. You lot have got to wait until September till you can get your hands on it. But here's a trailer to whet your appetite. Let's <laughs> go.